Hey, what's up everybody on Charleston Car Videos. So I'm Chad and today we're gonna be taking a look at the 2018 Land Rover Discovery. It's my first time actually uh, kind of checking one of these out since we got it here at the store. And I thought, you know, why not go ahead and share this with everybody on the CCP channel. If you haven't really been inside one or looked at one before, now might be a good time. And I'll give you my thoughts and opinions about it, which I will tell you right off the rip here, I do like it. I mean, it looks really good. So anyways, I'm liking the color combo on this one. You got the silver with the 21 inch black wheels. Um, whoever previously owned it added on a rack up top with the light bar, which looks kind of cool. And uh, I don't know, it's just, it's nice. It really is. Now, just to give you an idea, previously, Land Rover Discoveries kind of looked like this right here, right? You know, a little bit before. Now, that's actually a Range Rover Evoque. But if you look right back there, that's a Discovery. And we'll walk around a little bit and check them out. Right now, I want to let you all know Southern Motor Company has actually got one of the largest inventories in the Charleston area of pre-owned Land Rover Range Rovers. We have been buying them a lot lately. That's right, over the last month or two, we've really dived into these vehicles and uh, we've been buying Land Rovers and Range Rovers and a lot of people have been coming by and buying them. So they've been a really good vehicle for us to sell here at our store. But yeah, here's a Land Rover Discovery. Looks kind of like an Evoque, but so much smaller in size. Um, I even heard Chris, the owner of our store, say one time, he said, he said, this is kind of like a Ford Escape, he said. He said, it's kind of on the platform of a Ford Escape, which I don't know if that's a good thing or not, but if you like something a little bit smaller, well, that might've been what you would have looked at. Now, to me, the older Discoveries, which this isn't a Discovery, this is actually a Land Rover LR4, but the older Discoveries back in the day kind of looked a little more like that. Anyways. Or maybe get the LR3, the LR4. Then you got those LR2s, which were really small, like a Ford Escape. That looked like a Ford Escape to me. But anyways, that's a Discovery Sport. Super small. Looks almost just like a Range Rover Evoque. But yeah, this body style down here it looks really sweet. And I'm liking it. Now, I also like the Range Rover Sports. This one's an HSE. Definitely got a nice look with the dark colored wheels and all that. And I really like these over here, the Range Rovers. You know, the big boys, the HSE, like that. Anyways, but right now this video is about this one. So let's take a look at it. It's got a nice look on it. It's got a lot of cool upgrades. I mean, it's sweet. So here's the key. Just a nice square key fob. Let's go ahead and open her up a little bit. Take a look at her. She's beautiful, really is. Doors open up nice and wide if you're wondering. So you got plenty of room to get in and out. I kind of like the setup and the design in the back back here, how it, the license plates here, it kind of cuts over like that. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Um, the button is right there, just hit that. You got your power tailgate, tow package. Now this one, the only little weird thing about it is this little part right here is having a having a little bit of a problem. It's supposed to actually drop down. So if you're out there shopping for one of these, this is actually something, even if you own one, that might break or, or start acting up on you at some point, is this little thing right here. And again, we've played around with it. We've hit the buttons and all that stuff. It still doesn't want to seem to drop down like it's supposed to. So we're gonna have to get that taken care of and fixed before someone buys it or have it taken to the Land Rover dealer. But it's got third row seats in the back, so that's kind of cool. Pretty decent amount of storage space as well. And, uh, I don't know, just the whole look of the vehicle is very nice. I, I like it, it's different. Now, some of y'all may say it looks kind of like a Ford Explorer. Yeah, I can see that some. Um, interior, super nice. I mean, take a look at the seats. You got the piping, different colored stitching. Um, it's got a nice big sunroof here, then the one up there. And then you got the widescreen display up in the front. And then another big massive LCD screen right there, you know, where the odometer is at. Most of your Land Rovers and Range Rovers and, you know, a lot of your super high-end luxury cars now are doing this. They're putting that big screen right there. This one's got 74,000 miles on it. But, yeah, it's really nice. It looks good. Stylish. 
and it's capable of doing some off-roading if you wanted to do that. You know, a lot of people buy Jeep Wranglers like this over here and they off-road them and have fun with them or they just drive them and look cool with the lifts and all that. But, you know, it's not all that often that I'm seeing people buying these Land Rovers and then off-roading in them. Now, again, I live in Charleston, South Carolina. It's very flat all over Charleston. You know, we got the beaches and all that. So maybe we're not going to see people buying these and having fun with them because they're just you know oh crap we got to get this radio down immediately there we go before we get a copyright but anyways yeah you know a lot of people buy these and they, they might do some off-roading and having some fun with them but maybe i just don't notice it as much because i live in charleston it's so flat um you know so maybe if we lived up in the mountains or somewhere else maybe you'd see more of these with different rim and tire setups on them and all that but anyways, it's beautiful, it's very luxurious, it's gorgeous, it's expensive too. This thing's not cheap. I mean, it's got a pretty hefty price tag on it, and it's in the upper 30s, even for a pre-owned one, 2018 with, you know, 74,000 miles on it. Still probably getting close to $40,000, but you know, you're paying for what you're getting, really for the most part. Fit and finish, let me feel. I mean, we do got some plastics on the inside for sure, so it is a little plasticky in certain areas, but I think Land Rover's done a nice job wrapping stuff up in leather. This looks pretty good. Steering wheel's nice. Still feels pretty heavy and solid, but I will tell you, if you got in this and then walked over and got in that over there, you know, not the Jeep, but the Land Range Rover, you know, you're definitely gonna feel a pretty big difference in the two vehicles. I mean, this is heavy and feels good, but that over there is still gonna feel more expensive and more luxurious and heavier. It's just got a different kind of feel about it. Um, but this is nice, it really is nice. I mean, I would drive this every day of the week, it's gorgeous. And, uh, huh, got some tools in there, don't we? But. Uh, it's cool. It's got a lot of cool little features. Let's put it in reverse. There's your backup camera set up. You got your 360 view. I'm not a big fan of this thing right here so much. I still like this. But, uh, you know, a lot of vehicles are going to this dial here, switching from reverse drive, neutral, and all that. So that's, you know, I think the reason I don't like this so much is when that guy, that actor that I really liked that acted in movies back in the day passed away because his Jeep Grand Cherokee went out of park, went in the drive and hit him at his gate and uh, he ended up passing away. So, you know, that, that does concern me. It's like, could this electronic feature go bad? But I'm sure they got all the kinks worked out by this point. Anyways, beautiful vehicle. You know, at the end of the day, it's your decision on what you buy to drive. I mean, it's your money, it's your dime, you're paying for it. You're paying that payment or paying cash, whatever the case may be. But it's definitely got the look, like in the rack up there, that looks cool. And, uh, you know, we keep some nice stuff here at the store. So there you go. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know if you're in the market for a pre-owned vehicle. We keep some nice inventory at Southern Motor Company. And uh, as you can see. All right. Thanks for watching, guys and girls. I'm Chad in Charleston, South Carolina. It's January 2023. Who knows, uh, who knows what the future may hold for us? Life is always moving forward. Don't go backwards, move forward in the right direction and buy that car you've always dreamed of. You can do it. You just gotta work hard and make it happen. Thanks again, have a great day. Like, comment, subscribe right here on the channel. I'd appreciate it. Let's keep rolling through. We'll see you then.